huge believer in the pharmacology of the body. I think you, you feed it the right foods, it does amazing things on its own without all these pharmaceuticals. I'm a huge proponent of what I call an alkaline diet or alkalizing your blood. Supposedly, from what I've been taught, is that when your blood's alkaline rather than acidic, then disease can't live in the blood. And so I mentioned this to you right before we got in there, and you're like, oh, yeah, I know about alkalinity. So how would you communicate it to people? I'm sure a lot more effectively than I can. Well, a picture that I like to explain is that if you have a cancer cell in a Petri dish, what we're finding is that it cannot live in an alkaline environment. They thrive on acidity and they multiply extremely quickly in an acidic environment. So real quickly, not to interrupt yep. you, but give us an idea of what can help create an alkaline uh, environment in our blood and what help creates an acidic environment. Yes, and that also can be saying, okay, an anti-inflammatory slash alkaline, and then um, inflammatory uh, uh, acidic diet. Okay, those two things go hand in hand. We want the most, uh, the lowest inflammation in our body and the most alkaline. Some of the foods that we can eat are greens, obviously. Um, Speaking of which, have you seen this? I like it. A super smoothie. Greens. Yes. You know, do you know super greens? Yes. I'll have to show it to you. Bruce Kelly calls this my my bong water. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. fruits and vegetables. Um, and then we want to go with an anti-inflammatory diet. So choosing between the others when it comes to meat, that's one thing that I stress should be free range, organic. What it does is it saves you on the most amount of pesticides, chemicals, and all the other stuff that comes with commercial meats. Food Inc. is a great documentary that shows what's in the meats that we're eating. Um, and then as far as grains go, whole sprouted grains are our best bet or ancient grains that don't raise inflammation or acidity in our body. So we literally have a grocery shopping list, optimal food choice list of what those are. And when it comes to fat, most people think fat will make us fat. Well, now we know that's not true at all. Fat fuels hormones in our body, our central nervous system, and actually is a fuel to burning fat. Now, one of the key breads, and I, I don't even think I've seen this in Fargo, is those Ezekiel breads. Yes, are they yeah, they're all over. Yep. They are, where? Yep. <clears throat> at every grocery store, all the Hornbachers, they're in the organic section, in the freezer section, though. The all organic right. freezer. And those are all um, sprouted grains, yep. right? Swanson's. They have the Swanson's. Might be the only place that I've seen the Ezekiel tortillas. Mm -hmm.